Welcome to this look at new mods and significant updates on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Monday the 27th of April. Um, we have new mods. We have a load of updates, including some significant ones. Um, we've got updates to the Massive Ferguson 8700S by STV Modding, the Pigsty by Camelos 0397. We've got updates to the Zetor uh, 12045 16145 pack by Kashtan 18, the ITS Lemkin pack by ITS, the Fence 700 Vario SCR, which was on the Mod Hub last week and then disappeared again, is back on, has been updated. The Silo King EA2300 by Whiteball Modding has also been updated. Um, more significantly, the CSZ equipment pack has been updated, which we're going to have a look at in a second. That's just something I want to show you over there. The Slurry Dealer pack by Holger Sengstock has had an update, which again we're going to have a look at in a minute, because that coincides with the mod that's come out. But what's not showing on the Farming Simulator website, but is showing in the Mod Hub, is an update to three of DD Mod Passion's bailers. The Massey Ferguson 2270XD, uh, the Kuhn VB2190 and the New Holland Big Baler 1290 have all had updates and this is in relation to the Straw Harvest add-on. Um, because with the Straw Harvest add-on, the balers in there you can have manual or auto load with regard to bale twine and netting. Um, three of DD Mod Passion's balers have been updated to have manual or auto load options available. I put in the Massive Ferguson 2270XD and the New Holland to illustrate the point. However, this one doesn't work. This one does. I haven't tried the Kuhn VB2190. I'll be honest, I'm in one of those exasperated modes at the moment because um, a few of the mods and updates that I've got out don't seem to be working properly. So we'll see. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. Under baling technology, if we scroll along till we get to them. So we've got the big baler 1290. Um, if I click on that now, we've got the option down there, manually or automatic. And that's for the um, bale twine. And that does say 4,066 pieces. Um, I assume we'll have a bale counter. The picture there shows bale twine. And then we've got the 2270XD. You've got the standard one. And then we've got this one here, which does say manually or automatic. Now I have checked. I didn't click on the wrong thing. I've tried both options. Um, so that's a pallet of the baler twine, uh, which is you have to have the straw harvest add on pack for these to even work. So that's what we've got. If I click on that, open up the help menu, and then drive up to the pallet, it says refill baler. So if I press L3, it tells me it's refilling the baler with bale twine which is exactly where we need to be with that one what I'm just going to do is drop that off I'm going to grab another pallet of twine having said it doesn't work yeah if I come up anywhere near it doesn't come up with refill at all and this is the one that's supposed to um, so yeah bit of a mixed bag on that one um, so three of them have had an update but for some reason that one's working, that one's not. Um, don't know what to say. Maybe there'll be an update, I don't know, for that particular one. Um, there we go. The CSZ pack has also had an update, which again I think is fairly significant. Um, the CSZ equipment pack um, on the Mod Hub says change log 143 added loading of the pallets to all pallet forks except the double width ones. This works for any pallet if it's a defined pallet. If we go into here and look under pallets anything that's a standard one if i keep scrolling across i'll get to another load of these and if you look at the jigsaw puzzle piece it says csz pack um so if you want the csz thing to work and i'm going to show you that in a second you need to use the ones that are have a puzzle piece that says csz pack so if i come down to these pallets you've got the standard in-game ones then we go across and we'll get to ones that say csz pack so these ones here the Cortivas, that one, Pallet Saplings, Poplar Saplings, Shunkan, all say CSZ pack next to them. They're all compatible as well. If I come back out, 
go to tools and if we go to well it doesn't matter which one at all really um, let's go telehandlers because that's the one I was on but if I scroll across now to the CSZ pack and find a set of pallet forks this only works on the singles I say the singles these ones doesn't work on the double sets but on these ones they are now kind of technically auto load forks for pallets it's a bit of a weird weird one um, so that's the forks and that's one of the pallets that had the CSZ puzzle piece so what will happen now is when I come up close to it I'll get that come up saying attach so rather than just hook them up I can actually attach the pallet and if I attach the pallet I can do pretty much anything with them that pallet's not coming off of there um, so it's kind of an auto load function but what I have found if I just attach the pallet now getting the pallets off again is proving difficult um, so what you have to do is kind of tip it it will slide off it will come off so it's kind of an auto load pallet function um, I like say so, as soon as I get to there I can just hook them on um, disconnecting them though getting them off again is a little bit trickier um, so there you go that's an update to the CSZ pack with regard to pallet forks so whilst it is kind of an auto load pallet it's not an auto load pallet trailer or anything like that but kind of in a way right uh, we're going to have a look at the Holger Sengstock update in a moment let's start off with the first of the mods for today make sure wrong. Right, okay so what we've got here on the front of this <coughs> let's close that off for a second is this contraption on the bottom there um, this is the net holder by Nico Pixies. this is also working in conjunction with the straw harvest pack so for the baler, and I'm sure we're going to get more of these being modified now, the baler, if you have it on manual loading, that takes net that needs to be put in there, this contraption is designed to take net out into the field with you. So you haven't got to take a pallet. Now that's a pallet of the net. So rather than taking pallets out, you can put net onto the front. When you run out, you then... No, not that one. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a pain. So you disconnect it, bring your baler over to here, press L3, and it takes three of the twines off of that and puts them into my baler. So once you've used all of those off the front of there, let's just drop that off, and grab that back on there. Once this is empty, I've got three missing off there, but once this is empty, I then just go back to a new pallet, whiz back over, come up to the new pallet, press L3, and it reloads them. So, it's a net holder. That's what it does. Um, let's just drop that down. Handy bit of kit, especially if you've been doing the um, the pellet stuff, if you've been using this baler, if you, know, if you want a slightly more realistic feel to everything that's going on. It's a nice mod. I like that. It's a clever idea. Um, this you'll find under pretty sure it's bailing technology this is going to be an interesting one today there we go the twine holder um 1100 to buy this will use how many slots was it <laughs> look at my little sheet two slots we've got the option to change the main color uh, to anything you want um, and then you can have the capacity ha have it for eight or you can have it for 12 depending on how many nets you want to carry um and that's it that's what it does so you can add a little bit of a uh, kind of immersion and realize realism realism to what you're doing right moving on to this now this is the samson slurry pack this is new this is by holger sengstock um, so it's a whole load of samson stuff that we've already got in game that's been modified and adjusted and changed we've got a few options available on this now this comes in conjunction with today an update and this is what i was talking about an update to this which is the slurry dealer pack by holger sengstock but i can't get it to work these i can the trailers are absolutely fine they work i say they work no problem at all you'll see what i mean in a second um, and you can see i've got it in class colors um we can change these around so we'll have a look in store they're really nicely detailed loads going on we go to our slurry tanks and go along to our Samson stuff you'll see that we've got our in-game Samson PG2 um, we've got the TD12 we've got the PG25 the PG30 
to 35 um, and the various different Samsung imps, implements. If I keep going to the end we'll get to these modded ones. Now you'll see it says PG225 Easy, PG225 Profi. If you go for the PG225 Easy there's no animated bit for the pipes on the top. That will fill up and load just the same as they always have done. If you go for the Profi version, that requires the pipe and nozzle to be put near or next to whatever it is you're loading or unloading from. Um, so it's the same with this, you've got Easy and Profi, and then we've got the attachments that go with these. So the options are the same on these, but we can change the main colour to anything now. So we've got choices of whatever you want to change the colour to, which is great. Rim colour, again, we can, you know, change it to whatever you want to go for. We've got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, Nokian, back again. Then default, default we've got standard, like so, or you can have it with two beacon lights on the back rather than the single one in the middle. You can have two on the back are your options. Um, so, like I say, if you go for the easy one, which is the one I've got here hooked up, I'll open up the help menu. Um, there are no options for the pipe on that one. L1, R1, L1, R1, no options available. And if I go up next to the slurry by point, and there's, again, I think this might need an update. There's a few problems with this. If I press L3 now, it says start filling. Slurry, and I start filling. That works no problem at all. Absolutely fantastic. Great. Just how we want it to be. Turn that off. If I go to the Profi version, which is the one I've got here, I've now got a load of options for the pipe here. So we can move the pipe side to side. There have been a few that have had animations like this before. This is nothing new. Um, so we've got the options here. What has been done is if you've got a side panel or joystick set up, you can control it with the side panel joystick setup, which is a nice touch. I like that. So I'm using my joystick now on my Satex side panel, or my Logitech side panel. Now, here's the thing. With the Profi version, as you can see, I'm up next to the thing and it's not saying anything saying refill. What you're supposed to do is come over to here and there's now an animation which opens up that cover and you take that nozzle and you put the nozzle down into here and you refill. That's very nice indeed. And as you can see on the help menu at the left hand side it says Profi there with an X. If I press X, all I do is jump. The cover won't open. I've been round and round this. Now I don't know if this is the conversion thing over to console that's caused this problem. I don't know whether it's going to need an update or not. I cannot get that to open at all. Um, I keep pressing Profi the jump is X as well, and that, I think that might be where we've got a bit of a problem here. Um, whoops, just take that off. Um, I'm not sure. I can't get this to work. I can't get it to load up. Um, I'm assuming if this is filled up already, um, then you can use it to fill other things. Or, but, like I say, it's a bit of a problem at the moment. I'm assuming that's going to get an update. I'm hoping I haven't missed anything obvious, which I have done before, but I have been round and round. I've tried it from all different angles. As you can see, the slurry by point does work because it's exactly the same one as I've got there. It works with the easy version. It's just the Profi version, and I'm getting the Profi thing coming up like that, and I'll show you over on this one. It does exactly the same thing. It comes up, says Profi, but I can't get that cover to open. So, unfortunately... I can't show you that working, but there are options now with tyres and colour choices and all the rest of it, and you can have it easy or profi, and it is supposed to work. So at some point, if that gets an update and it gets working, um, I'll come back on and I'll show you it working, um, because it's the least you deserve. So, uh, moving on from here, let me just grab the tractor off the front of this. We've got a couple of cultivators. We've got the Amazon Catros uh, 5501. This is by Vav Vavio. Vavio. Um, RxAxa. Um, this is a 5.5, I think it is 5.5 meter cultivator. Nicely detailed, as we kind of come to expect now. It's very unusual to get mods 
now that aren't particularly detailed they do look neat they look crisp they look tidy generally speaking you do get the odd one here and there but generally speaking it looks very nice uh, this you'll find under cultivators uh, hang on a minute was it discarrows or cultivators <laughs> too many too many mods today I think it was under discarrows there we go the cat tross 5501 40 grand to buy this will use six slots um, no options available yeah 5.5 .5 meter oh something I meant to mention sorry that now will run at a much faster rate that's something else I meant to say the Samson slurry pack when you when you are slurrying um, it does say the machine now work at a speed of up to 21 kilometers per hour that's that one let's hook it up see it in operation Centre section drops down at the same time. I like that. That's a nice animation. Let's drop it down. Oh, that's an interesting one. Whoa, that's something a bit different. Look at that. Whoa, that's a different texture. Well, that's the rollers on the back that are compacting down afterwards. We haven't come across that one before. Wow. Blimey. Okay, so there you go. Something a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> Taking me a bit by surprise, that. That's the Amazon Cadros 5501. The thing is, I don't often test the cultivators before I show them because you kind of get into the... You fall into the trap of... Well, it's a cultivator, isn't it? We've done cultivators before. We've seen cultivators. But there we go. That surprised me. That's my Vavio RXA XA. Moving on, we've got this next one here. This is the uh, Cavernland TLG 600. This is by Camus. Camus. looks a little bit like is it one of the rail ones I'm trying to think now which one it was um, this will use uh, three slots you'll find this one <laughs> this one was under cultivators I think there we go right at the very end the TLG 636 grand to buy 5.6 meters requires 120 horsepower and it will cultivate at nine miles per hour um, hopefully this one hasn't got some surprise up its sleeve that's going to catch me out I'm sure it will <laughs> Today's going to be one of those days. I don't know if it's just the whole, you know, the sort of self-isolation, the, the social distancing, the being stuck indoors and the kind of lockdown. I don't know what it is. And I said this before in a couple of mod reviews. I said to my wife ten minutes ago, things just don't seem to be going right. I don't understand why. There we go. It cultivates like so. So there you go. That's the TLG 600 by Camus. Campus. Uh, moving on, we have got, and we've got a few more stuff. Um, I know we had some updates and stuff, and I wanted to show you as much of it as I could. We've got the Lemkin Diamond uh, 12, I think. Is this by Shardy? This is a plough, a mouldboard plough. There you go, Diamond 12. That's in its transport position. That's in its unfolded position. This one can be rotated over as well when you come to the end of the field. So this is a, a rotate one, should you wish for it to be rotated. For coming back the other way along the field. This will also allow you to create fields if you want to create your own field. What we'll do drop it down so in our field as normal as you would expect it ploughs but if I go L1 and triangle allow create fields I can now extend further out and create my own field if I want to which is what ploughs generally do in game like so 
L1 and triangle turns that back off again. Raise it up. It ploughs, it does the job as it should do. Nice detail. Nice looking mod. This you'll find, surprisingly, under ploughs. I don't know why I went that way. Ploughs. So we've got Lemkin Titan 18 there for 59 grand, which is a 4.9 metre. We've got this one, which is a 4.5 metre, only a little bit smaller, uh, for 45 grand. 225 horsepower required. You don't get any options on it. It's Lemkin coloured, and that's what you get. So there you go. That's the uh, Lemkin Diamond 12 plough. Uh, moving on from here, what's next? I'm trying to think. Do I need a tractor again? Yeah, I can actually use this one, it'd be fine. We've got this. This is the Lemkin Solitaire 12 SW. I do like the look of this. It's got a real nice, it's got a kind of mean stance to it. This is basically a seed or fertiliser tank. Um, an addition tank type thing. It's designed to work in conjunction with the Azurit 9, which we have in game already, and there's a modded version as well, I think, of this. Um, so it's designed to work with this, and it hooks up to it. The Lemkin Solitaire 12 is a cedar with the whole back section on as well, but this is just the tank part. Uh, this is by Mat26. Again, really nice and detailed mod. I just I don't, know, I don't know what it is about these. I just love the wheels and tyres on that. Looks brilliant. So, this you'll find under planters. It's here. Solitaire 12 SW. 87 grand. It's fairly expensive, to be fair, when you think about it. Uh, 5,800 litre. Um, oh, the oh, Lemkin Solitaire 12 is a cedar. This is under planters, that's why. Um, yeah, 5,800 litres for 87 grand. Wow, that is quite pricey for an additional tank. Um, no options available, you get what you get. Now, what I did think to check was, we've got the um, Lemkin Azurit 9, and obviously there's the Solitaire 12, you can have that as well, on a Solitaire 23 as a front tank. That's what it's designed to work with. I did wonder, would it hook up with the Tempo V8? So I tried it up at the store, it does hook up to the Tempo V8 as well, which was rather nice, I quite kind of like that. That worked. Um, what I did try was come down to Cedars. Yeah, this is where the... There's the Solitaire 12. Um, that's the tank, in essence, on that one. Um, but that's got the whole Cedar unit. But there's that other mod that's got these. The Horsch SW351... Uh, the Horsch Pronto 6AS and the 8RC. So I thought, well, I wonder if it'll work on those. I tried the Pronto 6AS and it did not like it one bit. In the lowered position, it was still sticking up in the air. It didn't particularly like that so i know people say oh i wonder if it will work with or does it work with um i did give it a try beforehand but it didn't um this will use how many slots four slots not too heavy on the slot count just heavy on the bank count <laughs> uh right let's grab this i don't need to operate it just to pick it up or attach it Now this won't take seed and fertiliser. If I open the cover, like so, that'll do 5,800 litres of seed or fertiliser. So you could use it as a tank if you're doing fertiliser spreading. And put a spreader on here if you wanted to. That might work. Again, it's one of those things where there's all sorts of options. So many different mods and so many different things that can be tested and tried out. But it does give you a few options. It's a nice looking bit of kit, that. And that's it hooked up to the uh, Azurit 9. There we go. So that's the Solitaire 12 SW by Matt26. Uh, moving on. No. <laughs> there we go. Eventually. Next, we've got this. And of all the mods I've got installed today. I know some of them haven't worked. This has done the same as that little John Deere potato plant I did the other day. This has gone all floaty and bouncing all over the place. I've had no problems with any other mod today. This one, all over the shop on the way over. 
Um, this is the Pottinger Schwad Schwad Kreisel. Sorry, if that's wrong. Schwad Kreisel 300. This is by Pushcap. Um, this is a three meter wind rower. That's what it says in the tin. Let's see if we can. Please don't do it again. As I was driving with it, it just went. Oh, it's alright now. It just kind of went all over the place. The tractor was bouncing around. It was, you know. Like I say, none of the other mods have done it. But anyway. Turn it on. Drop it down. And that will do. You've been rowing. Only designed for doing small stuff. It's not a massive piece of machinery. Uh, this you will find under windrowers. Right at the very end there, 2,000 to buy, 3 metre width will require 25 horsepower. Um, and this will use, if I can find it on my piece of paper, one slot. That's not bad, is it? One whole slot for that is fairly small, to be fair. Um, right, let's come out of there. As you can tell, probably by my voice and my demeanour, I'm losing it. <laughs> Which brings me on to, are we on the last mod? I think we're on the last mod today. We've got this by North Modding Company. This is the Pons Elephant King HKL. It's an interesting bit of kit, this. We've got a Pons Elephant King with the grab with a hook lift. That opens up quite a few possibilities in the old logging game or all sorts of other things, actually. Um, another nice mod looks cool north modern company do knock out some great stuff um i, I don't know I, I grabbed this because it, it looks most interesting kind of hooked up um but you think of all the different hook lift attachments it runner stuff if you put a grain trailer type back on that if you were doing wood chipping you can then load your wood chips onto this without the need of a tractor trailer combo you could do your wood chipping with your forestry equipment that might not be a bad idea you could have a log back so you could have this and you could have a selection of various different backs this be your kind of primary piece obviously it needs something for cutting the trees down but you you could do that as a forwarder it does have a trailer hitch on the back of it as well so you can add kind of more another hook lift trailer potentially or a log trailer or something on the back of it it does mean if you use something like this a low loader back type then you could take vehicles and machinery out with you on the back of this if you wanted to do that um but yeah, not bad at all. This you'll find under vehicles, under forestry machines. The Elephant King HKL, 210 grand. Not massively expensive. Um, this will use 17 slots. Options available. We can change the main colour to anything we choose. Uh, we can change the rim colour. Again, to whatever we want. Design colour is the HKL, the hook lift section on the back, like so. We've got the options of knock-ins, standard tyres, or we can go to Ollis 4s and then we go through the kind of options we can, we, I suppose we're getting used to now, but we've got the blue, we've got the silver, we've got red and yellow, and back to blue again. And then we've got the Elephant EU Stage 3A, which is 275 horsepower, we can then go for the stage 5, which is 286 horsepower, or we can go for the tier 4 final. doesn't change the horsepower, they both say 286, and the price doesn't change either. I think the tier 4s, is something to do with emissions, isn't it? I'm sure it's more. It's like an eco, a better eco-friendly engine, I think, I hope I'm right on that. Um, and then we've got the option of blade and guard removed. Blade and guard, guard no blade, blade no guard, back to standard. So, if you've never seen one of these at all in the mods hub or on a mod review or anything like that, um, we can change the driving position, L1, R1 and X. We can swing around and change our driving position for use of the crane and that kind of stuff. We can change our view, like so, which is normally very handy. Uh, we've got options on the implement as well. At the moment I'm on crane arm, so you've got usual crane operations for loading and unloading. Up, down, in, out, left, right, shake it all about, those kind of things. Um, we've got L1 and R1, we can open and close the boom, uh, the uh, grab, rotate it. That can also be done on your SATEC and Logitech side panel if you want to do that. 
we've got rotation we've got open and close on the side panel as well if you want to go down that route um, if I move that out of the way and then we press triangle and switch over to 2 then L1 and X we can open up the hook lift now I'll say that's because I changed the driving position <laughs> Um, I've said this before with anything hook lift related IT runner hook lift there are so many mods and so many different IT runner and hook lift attachments available now do they all fit and all work I couldn't say yes for certain because I haven't tried all of them there are just too many to try every single one um, I put this one on and tried it it seemed to work very well um, I, just, I love the look of that I just think it looks absolutely brilliant so you could load something into the back of that there are, there are so many different IT runner hook lift attachments and things you can use but for taking machinery and stuff out you know, not that you need to take pallets of anything out um, Zero puts me onto the actual trailer back itself so I can do the trailer options if I press tools again it puts me back on crane ah, oh, that was interesting ooh as I came round there with the crane Oh, I didn't do it that time. I if I come down, look, yeah. Oh, it does not like that, look. Hmm. That's something worth noting. Yep. I suppose the crane would knock into it, wouldn't it? But So if you are going to use this with something on the back, you want to keep that crane right up and out of the way. Well, that's trickier to do than you think though, isn't it? Maybe for transport you just fling it right the way out. No, right, because that still knocks into it as well. Okay, well that's interesting. And I suppose anything with the IT running stuff in the back, it's likely to do that. But there you go, that's the Pons Elephant King HKL by North Modding Company. Uh, I think that's it. I hope I haven't missed anything. Um, like I say, there are a few issues here and there with various different updates and mods today, which we seem to be having, or I seem to be having. I know I often get comments of people saying it worked fine on my map, it's worked fine for me, I haven't had a problem. Yeah. Um, I, all I can do is test what I've got in front of me on the map I'm on. I can't test all of these mods on every single map to see if they work, it's just that's not a viable option either. Um, so, there we go. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.